Hello, Joe Rossiter here with this Native Instruments tutorial video. Taking influence from a huge range of electronic genres, from dancehall, US hip-hop and trap, through to UK styles like garage, dubstep and drum and bass, the unique sound of grime is a tough one to pin down. So to show you how to build pro-quality grime beats in your door, I'm going to explore a few of the genre's percussive formulas by creating the drums in this track. Everything you'll hear in this video comes from Native Instruments London Grit, a 1.9GB expansion pack containing all the sounds you need to produce grime and other underground UK genres. It's full of WAV one-shots, loops and construction kits, battery kits, exclusive Monarch and Massive presets, machiner kits and projects, and much more. The door I'll be using in this session is Ableton Live, and I'll be using Battery 4 as my drum sampler. To start with a melodic foundation for a grime track, I've laid down a bass line, synth parts and stabs. All pieced together from individual elements taken from London Grit's 38 construction kits. My tempo is set to a typical grime speed of 140 BPM. So let's open Battery 4 and program some drums. London Grit comes with 48 battery kits, and they're all excellent, but I'm going to compile my own drum kit using hits from the pack's one-shots folder. Grime producers generally use straight-up drum machine sounds. I've selected this punchy kick, an 808-style snare sample, and a closed hi-hat. First, to show you how not to program grime beats, I've drawn in this regimented one-bar MIDI pattern. The snare is placed on the typical beats 2 and 4 of the bar, with the hi-hats on 16th notes and the kick is playing a two-step pattern. A major aspect of a grime track's groove is syncopation. In very simple terms, this means emphasising the unexpected notes within a bar. Currently, this predictable drum pattern, which is more of a UK garage-style two-step pattern than grime, isn't as syncopated as it could be. The rhythmic interplay between the drum groove and melodic elements could be improved. So next, here are exactly the same drums, but programmed slightly differently. To ramp up the syncopation, I've placed more emphasis on the even 16th notes within the beat. The first snare of the bar has been pulled back by a 16th note. And the kick pattern now incorporates notes on these even 16th notes. These rapid, unrelenting hi-hats are also stifling the groove. So I'll mute the last three hats at the end of each bar. This gap momentarily makes room for the melodic stabs. And now the track sounds just a bit more jolted, and the beats bounce along with the bass and stabs, in more of a typical grime fashion. So I'm happy with the drum programming. For more rhythmic and stereo interest, I'll throw in some complimentary one-shot percussion hits, again from the London Grit expansion pack. Layering this thin stereo snare sound bolsters the first snare, in a more characterful way than EQ could. For some rhythmic flavour, I'll drop in a bright, wide clave sample on the first offbeat of each bar. Next, I'll extend my one-bar drum pattern to two bars. This loose tambourine sample placed over the second snare of the first bar subtly fills in space in that gap. Within battery, I've panned it out to the right of the stereo field for a wider overall effect. And then to balance out the stereo imbalance from this right pan tambourine, I'll use a thin hi-hat to pan to the left and place it on the first beat of every two bars. This 
This acts as a mini crash cymbal style burst that helps signify the downbeat. Next here I've extended everything out to create a basic 8 bar arrangement. If a rapper is going to rhyme over your grime instrumental it helps to chop out gaps in the groove so the MC can emphasise certain lyrics. To do that here I've deleted the second snare of this bar and changed the kick note slightly. And at the end of 8 bars I've also changed the kick pattern and programmed a rowdy triplet snare fill. So now it's time to sweeten the overall drum mix a bit. Although the one shots in the London Grit pack are ready mixed, a touch of processing will help you add your own sonic stamp and also bring everything together. For some digital flavour I've applied battery's lo-fi effect to the kick. I've pushed up this effect's noise amount and you can hear that's giving the kick a slight fuzzy tail. And I'll add a bit more crack to the kick with battery's transient shaper. Similarly, I'll grit up this snare with the lo-fi effect. And use the transient shaper to help it hit harder. Also, a low mid EQ boost here helps bring out the snare's punchy body. For the closed hat, I'll again apply very subtle lo fi. And also, these hats are sitting dead in the centre of the stereo field. So to help them gently bounce from left to right, I'll head into battery's modulation section and modulate the sample's pan with a non-triggered quarter note sine LFO. This effect's really obvious when the mod amount is at maximum, but I'll dial this back a bit. Finally, to help tie the drum sounds together for a more cohesive drum mix, I'll apply battery's master effects to process all the drum hits as one. A bit of compression, transient shaping, saturation and limiting all glue the hits together. These effects add weight overall and make it sound like it's one cohesive beat instead of just a bunch of individual samples. So that's it for this session. This is just one particular flavour of grime, of course, but hopefully this video has given you a few tips to help you program and process your own grime beats. To find out more about the London Grit Expansion Pack, head over to the Native Instruments website. Until next time, thanks for watching.